In this video, we'll demo our augmented reality smart farm monitoring application. The main idea behind this is to help the user to effectively monitor the real-time weather, soil moisture level, light intensity, and temperature levels of the field. The development is done on Unity 3D to fetch data, display it in augmented form, and allow the user to interact with the augmented content. Vaforio is used as a cloud database to store the marker information using which real-time values will be displayed. Google Firebase Real-Time Database acts as a bridge between the hardware and Unity application, as it will control the data flowing in, that is sensor information, and the data flowing out, that is user actions, of the application. For more information on the hardware setup, check out the link in the video description. As you can see, we have our augmented reality application UI, and on the top right corner, we have our Firebase console, that displays the real-time values from the sensors. Our application consists of five tabs. The first one is temperature, which shows the real-time temperature information. The second tab consists of soil moisture level, which comes directly from the sensor. Let us pour some water into the plant. As you can see, the moisture value of the soil starts increasing. Next, we have our light intensity level, which comes from the LDR sensor. Let us change our light intensity a little bit. Here, the real-time value gets displayed as our light intensity changes. This can be further integrated with a smart light, to switch it on and off, using the control on the app. The next tab is just the system time. The last tab is the motor status, which can be used to monitor if the pump is on or not. Also, it can be configured to be controlled by the user, just like the light intensity switch. Initially, the idea was to develop the application for HoloLens, and test it out in an open field with gesture controls integrated, but due to the current COVID-19 situation, the HoloLens and some of the required hardware was not available. Hence, Android mobile phone was used to deploy the application. This is it for this video. Thank you.